Good morning. It is November 1st. I am again in my husband's office about ready to iron him a shirt. Uh, we are headed back up to Denver to go to our temple again today. He's taking the kids in today. Um, and um, so then I'll have the little kids with me and we'll run a couple errands. But yes, I'm wearing my orange sweater again. Sweatshirt, I should say. Because... I only got to wear it for two hours yesterday. So I was like, I'm totally wearing this thing. It is so soft. It's, it's just from Walmart, but it's really soft. I'll try and show it to you without. Anyway, as if it's really important information, but I really like this sweatshirt. And this is the way I shop. If I like something, I go back to the store and I buy every color I can in my size. So don't be surprised if you see more of those sweat these sweatshirts in different colors because I'll probably go to Walmart today or in the next few days and get a, a few more of them. I really like it. It's super soft. Um, so I'm excited about November. I'm excited to have... Um, I'm excited to get back on track. Yesterday was great and fine, but... Um, I just totally feel like let's get back on track and I feel a little puffy today not too bad but um just a little bit so I do know that um, keto treats kind of affect me they don't affect me forever so it's not like I can't ever have them but on a regular basis no so I'm ready and excited to get back on track and um, I, I'm totally enjoying how I'm feeling anyway. Um, I haven't weighed myself self since last week, so I could be down more. I don't know, but, um, well, I actually, that's not true. I did weigh myself a couple of days ago and I was up a little bit, but I, there was, I can't remember why had I eaten something or sodium. I don't know. Plus I exercise a lot. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm going off of my lower weight and focusing on that. And, um, I'm having to get new clothes, like all new clothes, including underclothes, which is weird. Um, I usually don't. If I lose weight, it's usually just a little bit, and then I keep wearing the same clothes I do. But, like, it's getting to the point where my pants were, like, falling off. I had to get new pants and new under things and all that stuff. Um, so it's nice. I'm really enjoying this part of it, and I just feel good. I went to bed at, like... 11:30 last night and got up at 5:30 and I don't feel like woo yay let's tackle that's not true I do feel like let's tackle the day but I don't feel as tired as I would have in the past like I feel fine so I'm sure it'll catch up with me at some point today but I I just feel really good I feel like I finally figured out what's working well for me and I'm excited I'm really excited and I'm even to the point where I'm like yeah here comes um uh, Thanksgiving, what should I plan for? What should I eat? And then on the other hand, I'm like, I'm not sure I really actually want to eat too differently. I don't know if I want to plan treats because I've noticed when I plan things, then I feel obligated to do it. So well, I'm going to be evaluating that and thinking about that a little more the next couple of weeks. But I also have a 5k on Thanksgiving, so I'll be training for that. I did not exercise yesterday at all, other than walking around for trick-or-treating. And then I didn't, um, on Wednesday either, except I did do arm exercises and my arms are sore. <laughs> but I do need to get back on track. I won't today probably just with us going up to Denver and the things that we're doing. But, um, tomorrow, and it's supposed to be a, a little bit nicer of a day tomorrow, so my plan is to be outside. So yeah, getting back on track. Not that I was really off track, but getting back on track of not having a bunch of keto treats and any of that kind of stuff. So I hope you had a great Halloween. Let me know how it went for you. Um, and uh, here we go. I'll show you what I eat. Uh, right, I know I will be having some sausage because Esther's doing me a favor and making me a couple sausage patties and I'll have eggs. And I'll probably have my collagen drink uh, this morning. So anyway, I'll show you when I do it. Take care. See you later. Oh, we're not we're not going with you guys. Okay. So I've melted some bacon grease in here. Do you guys save your bacon grease? We do. We just put it in a jar, stick it in the fridge, and then do it. So I put some bacon grease in here and then I'm gonna
cook myself up some eggs. And then Esther made me some sausages. I'm not going to eat all five of those, but I'll show you in a minute. All right, three sausages, three eggs. Keto collagen protein drink with heavy whipping cream and water. That is my first meal. It is 9 o'clock. Well, we decided that just Tim is taking the big kids up to the temple and I'm staying home with the little kids because uh, we have a couple errands that I need to take care of. I was going to do them in Denver, but it's just easier here. And then we can he can take the car and it, it's cheaper gas-wise and stuff. So we're home. The kids and I are home, the little kids. So we've got a few errands that we are going to be running. Um, we got to air up our van tire because it's been running low for, I don't know, months. <laughs> And we just keep airing it up, I know. <laughs> yes, I am an adult. I am responsible. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to show our dirty island. We also need to clean this house. We have friends coming over for dinner tomorrow, so... Yeah, we gotta get... We've been trying to clean this house all week. <clears throat> but it's also been a slow week. We've all been cold. And the snow, and just it's just kind of messed everything up. So, we need to get back on track. So... That makes me think of Chris Farley, the van down by the river. Have you guys ever seen that sketch? It's hilarious when he's like, back on track. Of course, he does it well, and I just think about it in my head. Well, since it's November 1st, I thought I would do a full body shot video. And I don't have my big kids home to help me with this, but... Um, yeah, ignore my... Well, you'll see it, but don't worry about that broken mirror. I, I know it needs to be replaced. Um, these are some old pants that haven't fit for a long time. And they fit, and they're even actually a little baggy. Um, and this is my new sweatshirt that I love so much. Um, and my new boots, too. <clears throat> but yeah, these pants are a little bit big, but that's okay. They're really comfortable. And this is um, mostly just so that I can see... Um, when I'm looking back in January, if I see a difference, if that makes sense. Okay, so I did something that I have been avoiding for a long time. All those empty hangers are clothes I finally got rid of that don't fit me anymore, and it was painful. Really painful. That's my pile right here. And then a pile of trash and a pile of, probably should be trash, but they're my racing shirts. Sorry you had to see my unmade bed. My room's kind of a mess right now, but I got this sweater at Walmart. It's yellow. I don't think you can tell. But I'm going to enjoy this nice cozy sweater. Not today, but another day. I love these warm, cozy sweaters. So, um, my husband and I are going to be going out to dinner soon. And so I'm just having some peppermint herbal tea with... Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, the kids are talking. Okay, with some heavy whipping cream. So that will tide me over. I was going to have lunch, but I got really busy cleaning my room, organizing my closet, and such. So I did not eat. I am hungry. So I'm going to drink this, and then we're going to go somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but it will definitely have keto stuff. So I'll be fine. So Tim and I are out on a date. I'm having the beef fajitas. Looks like it's heavy on the onions. And Tim is having mocha jete. That mocha jete is so good. The fajitas are really good too. I've had them before. But yum. This is going to be my dinner. That was pretty amazing. I left behind a lot of the uh, onions, but I also ate a lot of them. They're very, very good. I'm going to have another peppermint herbal tea with heavy whipping cream. And that is going to be the end of my eating day. So it's I'm freezing. I'm just freezing cold. So <clears throat> I'm going to have that. And I also am feeling kind of snacky, probably from last night. So i got to rein it in and not let myself have things that I shouldn't. And then I'm also going to pick, pick a couple pictures on the wall over here and show them to you. Here's an old family picture before Henry was born. This one has some of our older kids in it. That's our oldest daughter, um, Sahara. And here's Claire, Esther, Kenyon. He's on a mission in Guatemala for our church. 
Ezra, Tally, Ryland, he's at college. He's 21. Bethlehem, she is married and also at college. Of course, myself and then Tim. And then, oh, sorry, the lighting is bad with my phone. But this is um, Henry's newborn picture. This was the day after he was born. So cute. And he's not crying. He's yawning. Which is obvious to me, but some people think he's crying. But he's not. But I love that picture. Let's see. Here's another family picture. Um, Sahara, Bethlehem, Ezra, Tally, Claire, Esther, Kenyon, Ryland, me, Henry, Tim. So, kind of fun. Anyway, here's uh, Tim's in my wedding picture. Back when we were young and cute. <clears throat> anyway. I complete. I think I completely forgot to talk about this today. Maybe I didn't. But today is six months of being back on keto. Not a single cheat. No cheating. No non-keto food. For six months. I am very, very proud of myself. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I will check in with you tomorrow.